next guest from seven seasons of New Girl. Now he stars as cartoonist Keith Knight alongside a talking marker that sounds a lot like J.B. Smoove in Woke. Season two premieres Friday on Hulu. Please welcome Lamorne Morris. <laughs> See you. I feel great. You do? Good. I'm glad to hear it. Did Thank you meet you. Idris Elba? Did I meet Idris Elba? Yeah. Sure, man. You didn't? <laughs> yeah, I've, you know, I've met him before. You know what I mean? Have you? Yeah. Yeah, not impressed. <laughs> I'm not impressed. You know what I mean? Him and I, we're, we're pretty much the, I mean, I'm sure you guys could agree we're pretty much the same person. <laughs> yeah, but he has that accent, so everybody goes crazy. He does have you know, the sexy accent. He yeah. came out here with sunglasses, man. He did. <laughs> His shirt was open. <laughs> this, this is Idris. Come on, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Oh, Jay. Oh, oh. 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 Look at all that. I'm just selling sex. If I had that accent, we'd be, you know, we'd, we'd be going out for the same stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> do you do an Idris? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. Who are you? Hey, put my name's on the bed. Yeah. Every day is sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> I asked because you did a great, um, you did a great, the last time you were here, you did an imitation of Denzel Washington. That was oh. delightful. <laughs> yeah. Did you, yo, I assume you saw the Oscar. Can you, hey, what was Denzel saying to Will Smith <laughs> off stage uh, in your imagination? Go ahead. In my imagination, uh, Will. Psst, Will, big Willie. Come here. Come here. Let me talk to you for a second, huh? Earlier today, I was looking in my book of quotes, huh? And I want to partake something on you, huh? Always wipe from front to back. Remember that. <laughs> oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, 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 your highest point, man. <laughs> That's when the devil comes a knocking. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let the devil win. Huh? <laughs> That's good. I know you're from Chicago. When did you move here to Los Angeles? Ooh, it's been a long time. I don't want to date myself, but it was 2008. 2008? 2008. You I, moved out by yourself or with people? I came here by myself originally, but then I, I got broke. That's the, that's the age-old story, and I mm -hmm. needed a roommate. Mm -hmm. And so I had to go through that process. Do you keep in touch with the roommate? <laughs> no, you do not. No. Oh, was the roommate weird? It was... Well, I have to ask you this question first. Uh, are you... Friends, or do you know anybody in the ninja community? In the ninja community? Yeah. And when I say ninja, I don't mean it like, like how Joe Rogan would say it. I'm, I'm talking like actual ninjas. Oh, you mean, yeah, like a ninja. No, like I, a ninja, okay. No, I don't know any ninjas. Okay, good. No. Yeah, this guy, he, I, I used to call him like a Jamaican ninja who used to do night missions, because he, he was a little odd, the guy. He had the sword that he would keep in the corner of our living room. Oh, that's a great quality for a roommate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It was, it was more like a dagger, you know what I mean? And, oh, no. and one day he told me, he said, listen, this is off limits, brother. You can do anything you want in here except for touch my sword. Okay. So one day a friend came over and obviously we, we touched the sword. Uh -huh. We touched the sword a lot. Not like that, but you know, we touched this, you know. So one day I'm outside hanging out with some friends and all of a sudden here comes the ninja, right? And he's shirtless and, 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 and barefoot, much like what ninjas would do. And he comes out and he's like, he's screaming at the top of his lungs. Oh, great. He's like, did you touch my sword? Oh, no. I said, like, what? He goes, did you touch my sword? I told you, you do not know the power in which it contains. <laughs> and he was that serious. Come on. He storms off, goes upstairs. Maybe 20 minutes later, I go inside. He acts like nothing happened. He's like, hey, bro, what's up, man? <laughs> Could not make this up. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It was a strange time for me. And you moved, I'm guessing? Eventually, yeah. yeah. He threw a smoke bomb and then he just disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> he just, yeah. Yeah. Holy yeah. cow. <laughs> okay, so this explains why you don't uh, keep in touch. No. Your roommate now is much more adorable than that. Um, we have a photograph that you posted. There's your, uh, your little girl. How old is she? Oh, man, 18 months. And you know that's not a safe way to drive, right? 
Honestly, like, she drinks a lot, so we keep her from behind. <laughs> no, she's a very dangerous driver. No, she's a dangerous little girl. Is she really? She is a damn daredevil. No matter it... how cute she looks, she's got her own agenda. She does. You, you know when you're a... You know when you're a parent? Any parents here, I'm assuming? Yeah, like... You, you baby-proofed the place, you know what I mean? When she right. became of age, I, I had to put the bumpers in and, you know, hide the guns and the drugs and do all that <laughs> stuff, you know what I mean? And then one day, I'm checking the security camera or the, the, the baby monitor, because usually, at, you know, if she wakes up, she lets you know when she's awake by screaming. And one day, <laughs> I hear silence. And so I peek my head in the room, and I put these bumpers all over her, um, her crib, right? So she wouldn't, like, hurt herself. She's untying the bumpers <laughs> with her little baby teeth. And she's, like, got three of them off. Really? Yeah. She's a little psycho. She made a break for it. Yeah, she's trying to escape me. Wow. <laughs> Sounds like she's smart. She's yeah, she is 100. percent I mean, she. I mean, when I say she's the sweetest girl in the entire world, I, I truly do mean that. But you know, there's always two sides to every coin. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes I'm afraid for me. <laughs> yeah. Now let's talk about your show because mm -hmm. uh, it's a confusing thing to explain. Yes. Uh, you uh, play a cartoonist, as I mentioned. Yes who speaks to uh, inanimate, animate objects. Yes. 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 That speak back to him. 100%. He's, you know, I, I just want to appeal the, to the people out there at home. You know, this show is for you. This show is for every single person out there. I know we hear the title, Woke, and we get confused. You know, is it about race? Is this show about inequality and all that kind of stuff? Yeah. yeah. Do I talk to... Pens and markers and cartoons, yes, I do. Is my character crazy? Yes. <laughs> but at its core, this show truly is all about asking the question, do white people wash their legs or not? <laughs> and what? That's what it's about. That's the question? Yeah. There's a, there's a lot that divides us as people. You know what I mean? That's a great divide in this country, and everyone's been talking about it. Wait a minute. Do black people wash their legs? You damn right we wash our legs! Oh. Huh? Wow. And white people don't wash their legs? Well, that, I, I don't know yet. You know, I haven't, <laughs> you know, I haven't showered with a, a white see. person and I haven't seen, you know, but, you know. I don't wash my legs every time. The back of the, you know, the armpit of the knee, I'll wash. Mm. Well, my doctor actually told me, he's like, yeah, you're, you're, are you washing your legs? I was like, yeah, I am washing my legs. He's like, yeah, don't wash your legs so much. The skin gets dry. Is that what, is that? Yeah. You know, that could be true. You know why? Because black people, sometimes we get ashy. We got to put cocoa butter on our legs. I do cocoa butter also. Really? Yes, ah. yes. DJ Khaled gave me a whole jar of cocoa butter. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm kidding, but I'm not. You're not kidding? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I talk to it as I draw. We really have a lot in common. Well, uh, it's, well it sounds like you're really tough tackling the tough topics. <laughs> 100%. 100%. Hit me up on Instagram. Let me know if you wash your legs or not. Yes, that's a great... There we go. We'll put your hat here. Yeah. Name right up there on the screen. There it is. Season two of Woke premieres Friday on Hulu. Lamorne Morris, everybody. Thank you, Lamorne. Lamorne will be back with the regrets. If you like that video, click subscribe, and we'll be together until one of us dies.